Texting, tweeting, Snapchatting, most students do all of these things every day. But how much do students really think about what they're saying online? There's a new law that may have students thinking twice before posting. Jessica Mick has more on how students can end up with a $4,000 fine or jail time. Just like you guys, I've sat through tons of presentations and lectures about how to be smart on social media. But now with David's law, the consequences can be huge. 16-year-old David Molak was an Alamo Heights sophomore, an Eagle Scout, and a Spurs fan. All that changed last January. After months of harassment and cyberbullying from his peers, David took his own life. His family was left wrecked. But they soon turned their grief into action, creating the David's Legacy Foundation. The foundation was instrumental in getting Senate Bill 179, or David's Law, passed. The new law is intended to protect Texas minors by treating cyberbullying offenses as Class A misdemeanors. This small device has huge power to be a tool to deepen our relationships and our knowledge, but it can also be used as a weapon. So I went out to talk to the students of Cedar Park High School to hear about their experiences on social media, what they think about David's Law, and how often they witness cyberbullying. I see it all the time on my, even on my little sister's posts, you know. It's really hard to see that. Well, I think that everybody has been like, like affected by it just because it's like, it's just like real common. I feel like it probably is necessary, unfortunately, because like, you know, people are going to do that. People are going to be mean to other people. It's just kind of a sad fact of the world. I'm totally for it. I mean, if it's causing people to, you know, harm themselves um, and possibly do more, then, you know, it, I feel like it should be put in place, you know, because we're trying to save people's lives. And, you know, if, it's, if that's going to help someone, then go for it. Bullying is harmful to students, whether in person or on screen. But head counselor Christina Hollander shared with us how the new consequences of this law can change a student's life forever. You are asked questions on job interviews. You're asked questions when you apply to college. Um, you know, you don't know what your future holds. I mean, I'm a foster mom. My entire history was looked at and we make mistakes when we're younger and sometimes those come back to bite us and we want to make sure that we're staying on the straight and narrow and that we're taking care of ourselves and taking care of each other, even more importantly. As we spoke, Hollander elaborated on her perspective about the consequences of David's law. I mean, if students are going to have long-term effects from a criminal record because of the way that they're treating people online, that's something they need to think about. Um, not only for their, you know, criminal history, but that's like, that can impact lots of different avenues in their life, getting jobs and things like that. Um, and really, I mean, what I always say is if you can't say it to someone's face, you shouldn't be saying it online anyway. For more info on the consequences of David's Law, check out Dina Trotz's article on our Twitter, at CPHS News. Thanks, Jessica. And if you want to support David's Legacy and help an end to bullying, go online to davislegacies.org and take a pledge against bullying. Hey guys, Noah Tor here. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you enjoy our content and love all things CPHS, make sure to subscribe. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.